Vsauce, the Puss Moth Caterpillar, is found in dense woodland throughout Europe and Northern Africa, and is famous for having a face. It has a spike on the opposite end of its face and can spray formic acid at predators for self-defense. Their cocoon is one of the hardest of all moth species, and the adult puss moth can have a wingspan of almost 10 centimeters. What the fact? The facts and knowledge on weird bugs. The giraffe-necked weevil gets its name from its enormously long neck. Males' necks are generally two to three times longer than the females, and they use it to fight for the chance to mate with female weevils. The females use their necks to create a nest to lay a single egg, and it's native to the warm climate of Madagascar. The devil's flower mantis is one of the largest species of praying mantis. It mimics flowers, and its coloration is considered an example of aggressive mimicry, which is a form of camouflage where a predator's patterns and color lure prey. They do this by climbing a plant and remaining frozen near a suitable flower, and then waiting to capture their prey. And it's the only species classified under the genus Idolomantis. The scorpion fly is not actually a flying scorpion, but an insect with a stinger that doesn't actually sting. It's the male genitalia of the scorpion fly, and females obviously lack this name-worthy feature. To court females, the males often offer them a meal, and then the mating occurs while while the female is feeding on that nuptial meal. Amazingly, males are also believed to sometimes pose as females to steal these nuptial meals from their competitors. The golden tortoise beetle is native to the Americas and notable for its shiny gold color, giving it the nickname Gold Bug. The tiny metallic beetle was the first known insect species that could rapidly change color during copulation or when disturbed by predators. They have a transparent shell and then red pigment that flows, reflects, and can be drained depending on the color it wishes to create when stimulated or agitated. The stalk-eyed fly has long projections on the side of its head that the eyes and antenna are mounted on. When they emerge from their pupa, the stalk-eyed fly gulps in air and forces it through ducts and into the stalks, growing them as large as possible. The larger the eye stalks, the greater potential for reproduction, because female stalk-eyed flies prefer larger stalks and and it gives them a greater ability to fight off other males for the females. Camel spiders aren't actually spiders, they're soul pugids, but they do belong to the arachnid family. They became particularly notorious during the Iraq War in 2003, where tales swirled about them being bloodthirsty and venomous. And while they don't quite live up to those legends, they are still pretty frightening. They grow to six inches, not including the legs, and can run 10 miles per hour. Their jaws can be up to one third of the length of their body. And although they're not venomous, they do pack a powerful, painful bite. Extatosoma tiaratum are also known as the giant prickly leaf insect, spiny leaf insect, the clay specter, or the Australian walking stick. The females are much larger and covered with thorny spines for camouflage and protection. And they're so large that their wings, by comparison, are too small for flight. The males are smaller and only have spikes on their heads, and they also have the ability to fly to avoid danger or find a mate. If there are no males around, the female can reproduce asexually through parthenogenesis, and these eggs take twice as long to hatch and only produce females. I'm gonna leave you with this. What is it and what will it become? Before we go, here's last video's winner. I'd like to thank my good friends at the BBC for providing much of the great footage in this video. Check out their channel, Earth Unplugged, and this video in particular, which answers the question, what would the fox really say? While you're there, make sure you subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.